Hello YouTube. Welcome back to Bald Man and Family building this airplane. This is uh wing skins two, wing structure sixteen, wings sixteen, whatever video. We'll be uh continuing the uh riveting of the top skin onto the right wing. I believe this is the same day as earlier when my wife and daughter were helping out. Might be the next day. Um, I got enough. I got as much done as I could possibly do without anybody's help. And then I brought the uh, the heater out to the garage to uh, warm it up a bit before I asked my wife to come back out there because huh, it got chilly. Yeah, I was able to reach the top. Obviously, that's that's an easy one. Um, I could do that with the with the squeezer in many cases, um, but there were several that I wanted to do with the um, gun and bar. Actually, I felt like I got a better result on some of those rivets than with the squeezer. So just go down, I'm working on the, um, I guess I say the top, realistically that's the trailing edge. So I'm just doing these um, rivets where I can reach um, from the front and the back while the garage warms up. <laughs> and, uh, oh right, the, the, I thought there were nut plates, but that's on the inboard side and those are later. And apparently I mess up rivets when I do them myself versus when I'm just holding the bucking bar. Uh, yeah. that, that's another thing. When you've got someone running the, the gun, and this happened with the tail too when we were doing the tail cone and my, my friend David was over and he was helping out with the tail cone. Um, you have someone else running the gun and all you've got to do is properly pos position a bucking bar um, you get some really good results. <laughs> um, I was very happy with how, um, how those rivets set. Oh, hey, cat. Guess we left the door open. <laughs> I think, um, it was pretty funny. Of the rivets that the two of us set together, uh, there were probably one or two, maybe three, that needed to be drilled out and replaced. And the ratio there was something somewhere in the, like, 1% ratio <laughs> um, versus any that I did on my own, where it's closer to 3 or 5%. It's kind of crazy. All right, so we finished the outboard skin and I guess we're into the inboard skin. So you do these from the cent each skin from the center outwards. Um, and uh, then you do the lap joint in the middle between the two skins. I don't know why I'm explaining this. Not like she hasn't done it before, but probably just going over the plan of attack. So, anyway, uh, we'll keep working on this, and then uh, see you next time for more top skin riveting. Thanks for stopping by.